Hey everyone, it's me, Kat. Sam's here too. And we have another special guest. It's Ripley in her holiday pajamas. <laughs> but that's not what we're here to talk about. We are going to give um, a review on what happened when I sold to Glambot. I actually had a really good experience. If you guys saw my last video when I was selling to Glambot, I was just showing you what I was gonna send. And um, yeah, I'm here to just give you an update on, on what happened. So before I begin, I got a lot of questions about how does it work and um, how much did I get and do I set a price? So if you go to the website glambot.com, which I'll put in the description below, there'll be a list of approved um, brands so they don't take drugstore it's basically most of the things that they have at sephora so it has to be like the higher end products they will take sh uh, single shadows eye eyeshadow palettes um they will take bullet lipsticks but they will not take liquid lipstick stuff that you would have to um put in and out because it's going to be contaminated they can um sanitize things like eyeshadows powders and the lipsticks they will not also take mascaras and I'm not, I don't think they take beauty products like skincare. So if you want to sell to them, you have to sign up. Um, you have to answer a few questions and they kind of take you through what to expect. And they also tell you they don't take expired makeup. So you have to know how old your product is. There is a website called like I think it's cosmetic check or cos or check cosmetic and I'll put that in the description below so you can check to see how old your makeup was is and they also tell you oh they also take makeup brushes and like empty palettes like Z palettes and stuff like that as you can see that's what I sold they sold mostly makeup brushes and Z palettes from my last video so I sent um, 20 items and they offered me once they got it I think it took I don't know if it was like the holidays and I probably should have wrote this down, but I think it took about <clears throat> two weeks for them to send me an email back saying, I think it took about two weeks for them to get back to me and tell me what they were offering. They were gonna give me $31 in cash, that which they would put into my pay PayPal account, or they would give me $40 in Glam Bucks. So Glam Bucks is just money that you could use on their site if you wanna buy these gently used products. Oh, by the way, you cannot turn in stuff that is like more than 50% used. So it has to have like, you have to still have stuff in it, okay? So um, if you think about 20 items and I took, I decided to take the cash, $31 to my PayPal. And then if you divide that by 20 items, I got a $1.50 for each item. Now, some people might not be impressed by that and that's fine. I'm okay with that because I think about like what, how I get paid in real life, like my, what I do for a living and um, how much I get paid hourly. You gotta think like if I were to sell this on eBay or Poshmark or Macari or wherever the other ones is, I have to like list it, I have to take pictures, I have to answer people's questions, then I have to mail it, then, I, then you think like that's just not even worth it to me. I rather have it like send it and they just give me an offer and then I can choose to accept it or not, which, where are you going, Sam? Who's here? I don't know who's here. And Ripley doesn't seem to be phased, right, Rip? <laughs> Anyways, um, I just figured it was, I was not using it. It was taking clutter in my space and instead of trying to sell it individually and I would get like, maybe maybe a few dollars more and then have to put all this time and effort into it it that's just that's just not for me so so far i've been totally happy with what i got i'm planning to use the 31 dollars for um i'm not sure yet but I'm, I'm looking at some indie brands that i'm considering buying and i know they take paypal but since i did have such a good experience I decided to sell again and I'm going to show you everything that I'm going to sell. Okay, I'm going to sell, I'm going to start selling 
a lot of my brushes that I don't use. I have a lot, and the thing is like, I have a lot of brushes, but I am pretty diligent about washing my brushes once a week. So it seems as though I'm using them over and over again. So I have all these other ones on backup and I don't use them. So what's the point of having these backups when I keep my brushes clean? So I have this. This is, I don't, oh gosh. I don't even know how old this is. This is, must be like 15 years old, if that, if that. This is the NARS 20 brush. I remember I bought some foundation and some other stuff and the girl behind the counter did my whole face and at the end she took this brush and she was like shh, shh, shh. I'm like what is that she's like oh it helps blend everything together I'm like oh put that in like I bought everything and I when I got home I did that after I did all my makeup and it just it looked like I smudged everything so I don't use this I don't like it I'm selling it now I have a lot of um, travel size brushes and people are like oh it's good for it's good for uh, travel, right? But the thing is like, what's the difference between like a brush that's like this or like, like this long? I mean, it's still skinny, it's still compact. So, and besides like little brushes like this, like I would normally hold a brush like here and would, it, and would have like more of a, like a stem. I don't hold it like this and this is uncomfortable. So I'm getting rid of a lot of my travel size brushes. So this is a Laura Mercier. It's super cute, it's super soft, but if I want a Laura Mercier brush, I will buy a Laura Mercier brush. I don't need this uh, travel size. I have this one. I have a tra travel size Charlotte Tilbury, which is okay. I have, I have a travel size Laura Mercier flat liner brush. And then all of these are MAC brushes. This is a 212 SE flat shader brush maybe liner brush. And then I have 224 SE, which is a blending brush. And you know, I have these and other, like the full size, and I feel like this one's not the same. I have another one. And then I have the 266 SE. Um, I use this for my brows, but this one compared to my other ones, it's a lot softer. I need a, something a little bit more firm when I do my brows. What's up? What's up, Rip? What's going on? <laughs> so I don't like this. <clears throat> and then I have the 219 SE. And I actually like this one, but I already have, I think I have two. So I'm gonna get rid of one, see how I feel with living with two, and then I might get rid of the other one. I have this Urban Decay Optical Blurring Brush. Um, I just got, um, a Sigma brush that I like better, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. And then I have some Morphe brushes. This is the E47. I was gonna use this to contour my nose, but I don't contour, so I'm just getting rid of that. And then this is the Morphe M508, or the M508. And I thought this would be a good smudger, but I don't like it. It's like, it's not, it doesn't do what I want it to do. And then I got this other M408 and I thought this would be a good one too and it's not. So those are all my brushes I'm getting, I'm selling. And I should have done a declutter video, but like I don't do, I didn't do it like how everyone does it, like put it in the middle and like talk it through. I just knew like, like I wasn't decluttering to like, well I'm decluttering to whittle down my stash, but I was decluttering mostly just to sell. So there's stuff in there that I still have to declutter. I just have I didn't I just haven't done it yet. So that makes sense. Now I'm um, getting rid of two palettes. This one is the Jeffree Star Androgyny. I barely use this. Now the reason why I'm getting rid of this is because I don't use it. Um, I think I've used Androgyny, Safe Word, and Frosting the most, and then I did Dominatrix a couple times and Deja Vu. The rest, and then I thought about depotting some of these colors, and I was like, well, then that's just a waste for everything else. So I figured I'd make a little cash, and even if I get $1.50 out of this, whatever, some people might like, oh, that's like a waste of money. Well, I think getting a little something back is better than having it collect dust in my closet and expiring because 
truth be told, I have a lot of expired makeup. The next palette I'm getting rid of is the Beauty Killer by Jeffree Star. I'm getting rid of this as well because the only colors I was really using is Courtney, China White, um, and Princess and Violence. The rest, and I, yeah, the pink stains my eyes and I wouldn't wear this color. The gold's okay. I have one from Pat McGrath that I like better. And yeah, this is even, some of these barely look even touched. So maybe I'll get $2, no big deal. So selling that. I found this, this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, never been used. I already have another one, so why should I have a backup of a bronzer that I'm just okay with? Maybe I'll sell the other one too. Anyway, speaking of Too Faced, I have this little chocolate bar. Um, it has a Chocolate Soleil in here, but the eyeshadows, I thought this was good for travel. It is, but this is, um, I have other ones that I like better for travel. And it's like, if I bring this, I have to bring something else, and that's just not where I'm at right now. I have this Tarte in Stunner, barely use that. I have so many highlighters, I don't need this one. This is my least favorite out of all of them. And then I have these deluxe size samples I've never used, like this Kat Von D Everlasting, is this the Everlasting lip, um, lip stuff? Is this Love Sick? And then I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in Butter, Scotch, never been open. Too Faced Better Than Sex um, mascara because they take these. So I, I don't. I think I got this a gift with. I don't have no idea, but I'm not going to use it. I don't believe in high end mascara. I believe in drugstore. So there's that. The next thing is I have a Tarte um, clay stick foundation, and this is in deep tan honey never use this and then i have a mark jacobs earthquake eyeliner and a burberry uh, nude number 407 and then i'm also adding some um perfume samples because they said they to send them that. so that's what i'm going to do i will update you on the next the next time um when i get it back and maybe i'll have another box ready i don't know um so yeah please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video or if you enjoyed looking at ripley in her little coat or naked sam and leave me in the comments uh what your thoughts are of my uh, outcome on glambot if you tried it, what your experience is, and until next time, me, Sam, and Ripley say we love you and take care.